of the best kept secrets on the Georgia Tech campus is the observatory, located on top of the Howie Physics Building. The idea came from Dr. Jim Sowell, who is passionate about both Georgia Tech and what lives in the skies above it. How can you do astronomy and not have an observatory? I mean, that's, that was a given that we had to. Plus, when you begin to look at Georgia Tech compared to just the other schools in the state, uh, astronomy, Georgia Tech is just very far behind. And uh, because I'm not having to worry with tenure, once I really got into a position where I could get the telescope, I, uh, which was through the technology fee fund initially, and then the observatory was built by the, the department and the dean of the College of Sciences. But I wanted to make certain that it's used as often as possible. And uh, I mean, my goal is to get everybody to look through the telescope. And I know what they can see and what they can enjoy seeing. And I just uh, do appreciate those that come out because uh, they're not paying for it. They're not being entertained the way a movie would entertain them. They're actually learning something, but it is totally free and I think if they put in the effort, you know, you see the rings of Saturn for yourself through a telescope, you're going to feel good for three days. I mean, it's, it's not a picture, you saw the real thing. The students who came to the observatory were excited to see Saturn, as well as what else lies out in space. I saw Mars and Saturn, I, they were both bright, you could tell them by bare eyes, but you could also see there on the telescope, that's really cool. I could actually see the rings of the Saturn. Um, that's the cool thing ever. So I came here with my friend today. Just I didn't know it was like this. I thought it would be, it wouldn't be as exciting as it, uh, you know. Uh, but I would definitely encourage others to come. I mean, even if you don't know anything, but it would be cool to actually see it. Like I came tonight because I knew we were going to be looking at Saturn, and I was hoping to see Titan, uh, the Moon Titan, which we did see. So that was pretty exciting. The first time I actually came up here, I actually wasn't even a student here. One of my friends went here. And you know he invited me to come, and um, so I was like, you know, that sounds great. And I came up here, and I was like, this is really neat. And so you know, I decided when I'm a student here, I would like to you know definitely check it out as much as I could. I like to have a few objects out. Tonight it was Saturn, which was pretty good. Of course, I prefer the moon, having the moon out, and then you really can see craters and mountains and rays, and, and then you move to another area and you see something very different. Uh, Jim is a. a, a wonderfully passionate uh, spokesperson and advocate for astronomy. And uh, I, I would say on the side, in addition to his job instructing astronomy and other responsibilities in physics, Jim has created, and this is an example of somebody creating something out of nothing, a, a capability for Georgia Tech to deliver uh, very strong outreach activities in astronomy. How has he done this? Well, he's done this initially by building an observatory on the rooftop of the Howie Physics Building. Uh, now, he did this by persuading people to provide funds and by obtaining equipment and building and, and uh, being persuasive. And he now has uh, several thousand people a year passing through on clear nights uh, looking at uh, astronomical objects. And astronomy is a marvelous way for us to connect with the community. I met uh, Jim Sao when I interviewed for the job that, that I have in Georgia Tech in 2008. At that time, he was the only astronomy person in the, in the school. So I, I have a very, very pleasant uh, uh, conversation with him. He was, uh, he was happy and excited to see that uh, Georgia Tech was going to move in the direction of bringing people related to astronomy and astrophysics. Uh, since we move here, uh, we have uh, taken advantage of this opportunity of a person that uh, directly connects through the observatory to people and the students. Uh, I, for example, had the pleasure of going up there um, with the visitors of mine. Uh, my uh, aunt and uncle from the United Kingdom were visiting. And we took them up there with Jim, and they got to see a tremendously clear view of Saturn with its rings. Uh, my visitors were not scientists, uh, and they were just 
dazzled. Uh, they still talk about the day that they got to see Saturn. And it really was thrilling. And I, I know that feeling. And, and the more we convey that feeling to people in the community, the better. So I, and I guess it goes back to my youth too, right? You know, these were the objects that excited me. And um, I love uh, being out in a dark area and just looking up at the night sky and seeing features that maybe people don't realize. Um, there are atmospheric effects. The, the Milky Way is just beautiful. And, you know, I, I think most people have seen it once or twice, but uh, growing up, we saw it a lot more. And so that, that's just, I'm, I'm just so comfortable under the night sky. So if you are looking for a unique and fun experience on a clear night on campus, the Georgia Tech Observatory is the place for you.